Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 applied paper. Here we're looking at question four. Joshua is investigating the daily total rainfall in Hearn from May to October 2015. Using the information from the large data set, Joshua wishes to calculate the mean of the daily total rainfall in Hearn from May to October 2015. Using your knowledge of the large data set, explain why Joshua needs to clean the data before calculating the mean. Okay, so um, what we need to do in the large data set is regularly, where they only have a small bit of rainfall, it's recorded as TR. So generally, if you, if you um, have less than 0.5 millimetres of rain, this is recording, recorded as TR. So what Joshua needs to do is he needs to go through all of his data and change TR into uh, having a midpoint of 0.25. Okay, so, so there we are. So that's the answer for part A. Using the information from the large data set, he produces the grouped frequency table below. Use linear interpolation to calculate an estimate for the upper quartile of the daily total rainfall. So the upper quartile is the 30 is the three-quarter way mark. Now we need to work out how much data we have here, and the amount of data we have here, if we add all of this up, n is going to equal 184. So for the upper quartile, we need to find the three quarter way mark on 184. And three quarters of 184 is 138. So we need to find the 138th piece of data. So let's do a little running um, Running, uh, running total 121, this is going to be 131, this is going to be 155. So it looks like we've got 131 pieces of data up to this point, and then we have all the data from 132 up to 155 in this group. So it looks like it's going to be in this group here. It looks like it's going to be seven data values into this group. So what we're now going to do is use the formula to so linear interpolate. It's going to be the place in the group divided by the class, um, divided by the group frequency. So we're looking for the total proportion into the group we're going to go. We're going to go 7 out of 24 into this group times by however wide the group is, that's between 1 and 5, that's going to be the class width and then add that onto the lower bound of that class width. So it's going to be, we're going to go 7 out of 24 values into the group, and the group is 4 uh, deep, and then we're going to add this onto the lower bound of the group, which is 1.0. So do this on the calculator, and we're going to get an answer of 2.17 millimetres of rain as the upper quartile. So we've gone 7 out of 24 pieces of data into this group. This group is 4 wide, so that's why I've had to multiply it by 4. And then obviously I'm starting from the point of 1 coming at 7 24ths into this group, so that's why I had to add 1.0 on the end. So there we are, helpful little formula for um, linear interpolation there. The answer is 2.17. Right, let's move on to part C. Calculate an estimate for the standard deviation of the daily total rainfall in Hearn from May to October 2015. So the first thing we need to do here is remember what our n value was. That's the number of the pieces of data we have. That's 184. And then recall the formula for the standard deviation. Now, luckily, we've got the sum of f of x and the sum of f of x squared down below there. So that's nice and helpful. So it's going to be the big calculation of... Uh, the sum of f of x squared over n minus the mean, which is the sum of f of x over n squared. So let's go and substitute those values in. It's going to be 7704.1875 over n, which is 184, minus... And then it's going to be 539.75 over 184, and all that's going to be squared. And we put that all into our calculator all in one go, and it gives us an answer of 5.5. 
5.77 millimeters of rain. That's the standard deviation, that's the average change in rainfall uh, from the mean for all of our data. And let's move on to part D now. So we've got a few little wordy questions here. Part D, I, is state the assumption involved in using the class width to calculate an estimate for the mean of a grouped frequency table. Well, the answer to that is the spread of data values inside each class is evenly distributed around the middle point. <clears throat> so what we're assuming here, for example, in this group here, is that the daily total rainfall between 1 and 5 will be evenly spread throughout that group. Uh, part two is using your knowledge of the large data set. Explain why this assumption does not necessarily hold in this case. Well, in the majority, um, in general, the majority of values in the first group are zero, um, and generally they're on the lower side of each of these intervals. Um, there's, there's very few values up to 30. There's some, but not all. Most of these values in the lower group here are going to be towards 10, maybe 15. So it's generally towards the lower end of each of these groups. And part three states giving a reason um, whether you would expect the actual mean daily total rainfall in Hearn from May to October 2015 to be larger than, smaller than, or the estimate based from the grouped frequency table. Uh, the actual mean is likely to be smaller than the estimate from this table um, because, uh, as I say, most of the most of the actual recorded values are on the lower end of each of these grouped intervals. So there we are, that's the answer for question four, worth eight marks in total there. Let's now move on to question five.